Okay, now I'm going to show you how to replace this type of wheel. This particular model has this type of wheel, but it must be attached from the inside of the case. For this operation, I'm going to need the number 15 Torx and a flathead. The first thing I need to do is take this little clip off. I've already done it on this side. And you just unscrew this clip like this. Pull it all the way out. This clip is what holds the straps down that hold the compression boards and keeps your goods nice and to sn snug inside your case. Here's the clip that I removed from this side. The second thing I'm going to do is take my flat head and very gently I'm going to pry the lining away from the edge of the case. You want to be very careful and not crimp the lining. This is double stick tape. It's very strong. It does a great job keeping the lining nice and snug against the case. But when you're inside like this, you just have to be very careful not to crimp it. Now, notice the inner support here. This part right here must be intact. Otherwise, you're going to need a more extensive repair for this particular item. This is in good shape, so that means that I'm going to be able to take a brand new wheel. You notice the flats on the side of the stem? They're going to match up with the flats on the inside. It just pushes right in like that. There's a simple screw like this. Again, I recommend putting Loctite on it. Just match that screw up. This one does not require a washer. Now I have the wheel attached and I'm going to replace the lining. Try and push down at the bottom first, and again, make sure you haven't crimped it. And just go all the way around underneath the lip, and press, press down. And that will replace the lining, and everything will be nice and tight. And the last thing you have to do there will be a little hole down here, and there's a small receptacle that's going to take the screw for the clip, and you're just going to reinstall this. Okay, I've matched up the hole for the small screw on my clip, and I'm tightening it up. All right, so now I'm going to reinstall the straps. Strap with Allion on it. Always goes up at the top. Just slide it through, get a little tug, make sure it's flat and even and the Velcro is facing out. Do the same thing on this end. Now we have both the straps installed and I'll just place the compression board back in. And close everything up. And this case is ready to go on its next journey.